Hello, hello, welcome, my Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces friends. I'm talking about water signs. Hopefully, you guys like my setup. Hi, how are you? Let me know what you think, if you like it or not. I'm open to suggestions. I'm just playing around, letting it flow, but I do like having it in this area and also facing this direction because this direction is like in my Chinese medical or uh, Chinese feng shui um, numbers and numerology, uh, actually direction, I guess my direction is west, you know, in that system. So anyway, I just want to kind of jump right in here and get started with the energy that is happening, that we're going through, that we're experiencing, that we need to focus on for our water signs. This could be water sun sign, water moon sign. This could be water rising ascendant this could be cross watching this could be if you're just feeling like you're in a watery mood or whatever you might have gotten drawn to this video i don't care you're welcome and i'm glad you're here and hopefully you get something out of this video okay Ooh, gifts from god sandalphon we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive i've been seeing a lot of this type of energy receive receive open your arms and just receive what you want draw it to you but like we are but sometimes we actually are doing things that push stuff away we'll have our hands too full of something already you know to where we can't actually physically reach out so it's actually opening your arms to receive but it is opening in numerous ways too mentally physically spiritually etc maybe not so much physically but yeah i mean like on some level yeah okay let's take one more gentleness be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments and i get the feeling that it's saying this they're saying this because basically it's a really important time the, these next two weeks now from the time and you know if you're seeing this at a different time take it as it is take it as it is because it is for you and it, you, you know you drew this to you you drew this to you. We drew each other to this moment. Uh, so yeah, gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself. Surround yourself with all sorts of like positive things. If it's not building you up, then don't even spend any, any time on it. You know what I mean? Okay. So here we go. Let's get our moon oracle card here. You and your loved ones are safe. I'm going to take another as well. We've gotten this one a few times. Shuffle again as well for the water signs. Getting a September of 2019. Lots coming up. Lots going on astrologically. And as usual, it's all what you make of it. All what you decide. Ooh. Got that Virgo energy. Virgo energy coming through strong. Practical. Giving. Doing giving to yourself as well, not just giving like, oh, give all your money to other people. Like, yes, you know, give, give, give to yourself, give to everybody. Like when you give yourself, you are giving to others because if you're in the giving mindset anyway, you're giving to yourself, you're just filling yourself up and that way you're gonna have more to fill others' cups as well, okay? So gentle, giving, gifts, this is great. This is a really nice energy to be in, especially how some of you, um, Excuse me. Um, I feel like can't like uh, excuse me like water and uh, earth have some a kind of a special relationship. So I'm not really surprised that you have you're in this like positive kind of it's almost like kind of floating like everything's kind of suspended. Again, like things have been moving around, but we're kind of had some time to get used to them, and now it's like enjoy this kind of gentle time to kind of you know. Build yourself up, build others up, you know, get the karmic juices flowing right now. All right, let's see what we got, guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to make these a little shorter than in the past. It's it's hard to do sometimes, but we make it happen. Plus, I've got less space here, so I am gonna pull the um, underlying energy. So, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, two of wands okay so as I said just kind of like going through you know you're kind of just trying to keep your emotions up you might be feeling actually a little bit like 
Like, you need to have some fun. <laughs> like, you have been needing to do that. Like, and don't, don't necessarily view it that way. Like, you don't need to do anything to have fun. Um, you, I, it's hard to explain kind of what I'm feeling with that. It's not like, oh, you're just having fun. Like, there's something to you're having fun. Like, you may be having a little bit too much fun, or you may not be having enough fun right now. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But either way, your fun is off a little bit. You need to, like, I don't know, kind of get to the truth of the matter of what's kind of bugging you on that front. Like, if it is the work and the money situation, you know, a financial situation, um, probably work, like being demanding, just all, it's a lot. Maybe you got a new job, maybe you're getting used to it, maybe you get a promotion. But it's taking a lot of your mental power, I feel like. Okay. So feels like you're setting your sights on something you're kind of you're it's kind of like you're trying to figure out what you want you kind of like I mean you have a strong twin flame presence here male female take that as you will whether it's within yourself you know the twin like the male and the female or with an actual partner on this earth um, either way you're starting to like see something new you're starting to feel something new and it's making you want to do but you want to act in a new way regarding this this person too okay so that's kind of the underlying stuff that I'm getting here so looking in I feel like you kind of are in a way feeling like your world is crumbling in a way but you still also know like how important it is that you watch what you think watch what you say watch what you do um, because you understand the law of attraction. So, you know, your feet are on very solid ground because you never let yourself mess up too much. But you also are re just really, really, really trying to get better so much that I feel like sometimes maybe you're taking, um, taking the fun out of it. You know, like you're being a little bit over serious about an issue, maybe. And that's what's like causing you to have this slip. You know, where it's like, oh, I just kind of lost my, you know, it's not nothing huge necessarily, but you just kind of lost your, um, your grip, you know, and things are moving like really fast. Like you're just kind of like, whoosh, um, you know, and mentally you just kind of are, I don't know if it's kind of foggy or like I said, just kind of like almost like vertigo, like disoriented a little bit because things are just changing. And I feel like you kind of are getting, picking up on this energy, like things are about to change even more. So but that's all the more reason why you get yourself together, like body, mind, and soul together. You got to walk the walk right now. These next two weeks are important. Okay. For what you do. And it has to be, you know, like now, like you, it's like flip the switch and let's get this, let's get this going. Like, let's just start this life. Like this is a lot of movement. And like I said, going into September, we're only going to see more and more and more of, oh my goodness, like so much happening in your life so like all this feeling all this all this action like you're acting on deep set values like this is why you have to be gentle with yourself and give to yourself even right now and build yourself up and do the self-care because you're so busy like mentally you're, you're busy with your financial side of your life you know but you know what you also, what you want. You have an idea like of one thing, you know, that you want to make happen and you're trying to move towards it. You're trying to move towards it. Sometimes you feel like you're being like blocked on that. Okay. So what are you losing track of you 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 got to let something go might not be as bad <laughs> you're you're more attached than you need to be really you're kind of don't be over dramatic with letting something go and just kind of you have to take the fool you have to take the leap like you have to wipe the, the slate clean on what you know 
you think you know or you think you had you know about your childhood you knew this and you told yourself this all these years well guess what maybe that's not true maybe that's a little bit not true maybe that's true in a different way maybe you just need a higher level of understanding and love and acceptance for everything and that when you reframe your old memories with that new view then bam you have a whole new life This is a lot. There's a lot going on and there's a lot going on inside of you right now. But that's all part of starting this new journey for all of us. And you guys, 2020 is gonna be, you know, unparalleled. There's gonna be nothing like it. It's a lot of collective unconscious waking up and that is happening, you know, already. It's starting to happen now. We're a beacon for others. Okay, that's why we're the manifestors. That's why we, that's what, that's, that's what this is all about. Law of attraction. <laughs> what do you want? What do you need? What are you, are you in alignment enough with your higher power to where you're manifest, you're choosing the right things to manifest that are actually going to come true because that's actually what the divine wants as well. How do you know? How do you know if something you want is what you should go after? Well, based on your feelings and you know your thoughts as well take everything into consideration you figure things out you know with your third eye with your soul with your body with your mind with your, everything pay attention to the science go with the knowing with the internal like i said like open open-minded knowing that everything is connected knowing that everything is so deep everything is meant to be the yin and yang the the masculine and the feminine and having access every day to wake up and have all of this vast, you know, information at our fingertips these days. Power, money, like if you're here watching this video, you know, wow, like you're probably so blessed. And you, you know, you can bless, you can take those blessings and bless the entire world with the gifts that you have and that you can create with, you know, with the elements, with everything that's there. You are a creator. You are spinning. You are helping to spin this energy. You are helping to transmute negative energy in this world and reframe things in a positive way. Okay? That one was there, actually. But you're, you're getting better at keeping your kind of shit straight, like, in all situations. You're, I mean, things are getting, like, you're getting better. Everything's getting better. You're just in a better place. You're able to deal with stuff better. You're feeling very comfortable in ways. Okay. So here, upcoming, this week or so. Or, or beyond. Maybe a little bit later. You know. It's like maybe you're wanting to be, to feel comfortable again. But you're kind of kind of on edge a little bit more than usual and you've got to do the work and figure out why you got to really immerse yourself and get out of get out of any funks that you may get into like it's good to go through these phases and get excited about things and follow what you're excited about because that you know and it's again your emotions cancer uh, not cancers but also all water signs you know you're you're more in touch with your emotions than other people are so that'll, that can help you create a lot of things and do the law of attraction um, because you are, you get, when you're aware of your emotions, you get kind of a little bit better at figuring out how to manipulate them. And it's your imagination really is all you need to manipulate your emotions, you know, and you can use your mind to do it in ways too. Like it just depends. But you, you got to let yourself feel, you got to ask yourself, you got to check in with yourself. You know, how am I feeling today? You know, why is something bothering me like under the surface? Give yourself time to explore that, to figure it out, to make sure there's not something you need to deal with, which there always is something that can be dealt with. There always is. And when you get your shit straight, you are the most, you're like unstoppable. You know, people are like, wow, it's a balance. It's a balance of life. It's a homeostasis. It's a, it's, it honestly is like creation. The law of attraction is creation. It's always happening regardless of whether we are thinking about it or not. It's just happening. It just goes. 
and whatever we're creating is whatever we're getting in that in that present moment so to know that and to think that to remind yourself of that that hey I chose this moment so guess what I can choose the next one do that work get those you know get those goals and that includes every way you know that includes your mental goals your spiritual goals your emotional goals you know your physical all, all of it's connected that's why when you're gentle to yourself on the outside it feels good on the inside and that's all you're trying to do right now is like feel the bliss it's like the gift from god here you are really just relishing in the simple things right now too because as you're going through this stuff as you're doing the work that you need to do and like going deeper within and all of this sorting out everything within yourself you know it's it's work you know and it takes a toll so you have to be extra gentle with yourself while you're receiving all these gifts from god okay give rather than take them the more that you're that you're sharing that you're helping others that you're using this for positive the more it's going to be wonderful and use this to like i said protect your loved ones you and your loved ones are safe and if this just keeps them extra safe you know protect them use your words use your thoughts use your emotions use visualizations a lot of people do pink bubbles of love and you know safety like wrapping their uh loved ones wherever they go or just asking the angels to bless them like use all the gifts like god has a lot of gifts for us the universe has a lot of gifts for us nature the ancients the wisdoms like the oracle stuff the tarot like all of this stuff astrology like when we learn that also helps us to give too this is all such virgo energy <laughs> or you can tell we're in virgo right now okay your loved ones are safe that's like home you're working on your home you're working on yourself and yourself like your home is your external you know energies so as within so without if your home is a wreck then you're probably a wreck inside but if your home is like nice and comfortable at least it doesn't have to be like over the top but like comfortable uh functional and all of this you know then you know you're in a, in a good state you know we attract it's, it's a law of attraction so we're on it and also you know the the shadow work and the inner child healing switch what we do is all it's just all part of the law of attraction it's a very easy way to kind of look at it it's just like when you are doing the law of attraction you have you're in the tr more traditional way you're like looking at oh, okay well i'm going to think this and then you know it's going to come true well we're kind of cutting we're, we're kind of that's a cut to the chase that's a simplified version and has more to do with the emotions okay you have to have the emotional component and you have to balance out you know and you have to do it you know like on a on a daily basis you have to you have to feel it but it's not just again it's not just a visualization that you're doing before bed or whatever this is like something that you're doing and you're not only doing it in the like in that present moment but you're going back into the past and also you know balancing out emotions and feelings and thoughts and ideas that you came to conclusions in the past and that's all because and the reason why that is affected by you know it is the law of attraction is because you know our our future is tinted you know by what our past is like we still have to deal with our past we're still coming from a place of knowing and being in touch with and you know it's just experiencing our past and so if we have problems with our past it's going to bleed over into our future and so that's why in order to you know get to this new place that we want to go to and have this new idea and this new life you know we may not even know what it is yet you know like clearly you know we got that water energy going on like well you know we're kind of you know and things are flowing though i mean i'll tell you that things are flowing so fast like we just maybe can't like process them all right now but once you have a, oh, an underlying viewpoint of like, we're always getting better, we're always going up, we're always getting deeper, you know, we're always going more within. Um, we're always just honestly chunking along and going through the evolution, doing what we need to do to get enlightened, you know, and like that's the goal. Keep that in mind. That's where you come from throughout your everyday actions and your mentality and your emotional place like comes from that place too. That's like when you're all balanced and your mind, body and soul are balanced and that's when you create that's when you get the, you know, the, the reverb. That's when you get the answers from the law of attraction. Get what you want. You know, that's when your gifts from God really, you know, come true. 
but you have to be gentle with yourself. You can't be like, oh, you know, stop saying bad thoughts, stop thinking bad thoughts, you know, like, damn it, why are you doing that? You know, like, it's about the journey, you know, and it's, it's, it might take a while. I feel like things are picking up right now. So if you're watching this at this point, then, you know, you're probably doing okay and everything. But I mean, I've been on this journey for so, so, so long. I have been doing the law of attraction since 2005. Um, as I, as I know it, you know what I mean? Like I've been under, under, I've been on the journey of understanding it, I guess is the way that I would put it. <laughs> so, and you know, I've been with my twin flame for 10 years. Um, and it's been a little on and off, but overall, you know, we're together way more, you know, than, than not. And we work on things and when we come through to the other side of something, wow, like we are so much better and we are so much stronger and it's amazing. So, um, you know, I just wanted to share that and get a little personal with you guys, um, just to let you know, you know, you can create you can create whatever you want. Like the place that I was when I first started again in, in 2005 doing the law of attraction as opposed to now, it's like amazing. It's like my life is completely different. Um, I used to have trauma and drama and every day um, I had the PTSD and all of this stuff. It was just a really bad situation. And now I like have such a calm life. Like I do what I want, you know, I follow my intuition, I'm the boss, <laughs> my emotions are straight, you know, for the most part, I just try to get better like every single day and just keep on um, making sure that what I'm doing is the right thing, you know, and dealing with all of these issues that I have and going within, like cutting off, like I try not to like soak in too much like of this culture, this society, this, because that, that will block your happiness, you know, like the outside media telling us what to believe, telling us what to do, like that's just going to mess us up and that's just getting in our head and we can't have that. And that's why I'm so drawn to these videos because I really feel like it's my purpose, my inner calling. Um, again, I'm a water sign. I am a cancer sun sign and a cancer moon sign. So of course I really you know, relate to water signs. Also, my whole entire family is like water signs. So obviously for a water sign, getting their emotions right, focusing on the right thing, focus on doing what makes you happy. Because doing what make you makes you happy is gonna bring to you what you really want. I'm not talking about fake happy. I'm talking about real, dig, go within and figure out what the heck it is that you really wanna do. And once you figure that out, once you have something that you just can't wait to come home from work or come home and do when you have a free moment, like that's what you need to focus on. And it can come together for you and it can all, like it's, it can all come together with you. Just keep those um, thoughts in mind and keep those things in your heart. Keep those actions close that make you feel happy. And those, that's, that's what giving to yourself is. And again, when you give to yourself, you're going to be just so much happier, you know, give to yourself and give and do the work, do the shadow work, do the inner child healing much more than that on my channel very, very soon. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're feeling great. I hope you're having a great end of August, start to September, whenever you're watching this. Like I said, if you are watching it, then just take what you can get from it. And I... I just love you so much. I'm so glad that you spend time with me. It just makes me, like I said, so happy I'm doing this as much for myself as, as for you guys as well. So we're in this together and we're going places and we're making stuff happen and we're making this world a better place. So be proud of yourself and um, just try to be happy and know that you're doing the best you can and just enjoy your loved ones. Enjoy all the gifts from God, all the basic, all the simple stuff, all the best things in life are free, yada, yada, yada. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful Liberty weekend and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Thanks. Bye.